Hello, you guys. It is Monday, March 18th. Of course, I don't know when you guys will see this. Um, taking the month off, like I've been missing vlogging and like there's like obviously a couple of exciting things happening. So, but I have today and tomorrow off. So I figured I'd just do like a couple day vlog. And then obviously this will be scheduled out in April since I'm taking a month off YouTube. So um, I'm actually, I just dropped off Cody and now I'm heading to my eye doctor because I just got notification that my brand new glasses came in and I'm really excited to show you guys. I went totally different than what I'm used to. It's going to be really weird at first, I think. Um, but last week we had our eye doctor appointment and they were so booked out. Like I booked this appointment back in like October and we, uh, as soon as we could get in was March. And um, so I booked the appointment. So we had our appointment last week. My eyesight went really well, but my husband's, um, they, he has, I, I don't know, I think there's just like a couple. Oh, he has um, really bad astigmatisms in both of his eyes. I know I have one in one of my eyes. I think my right eye had, doesn't have very good vision, but um, I just had to get single vision lens and he had to get like more expensive lenses because of his new prescription. And they actually want to see him in a couple months to dilate his eyes because he couldn't that day where he had to work. So when he gets his glasses, because his are going to take a little bit longer than mine, they told me it was only going to take a couple days and they were right because, I mean, I had my appointment on Thursday and today's Monday, so two business days. So once he gets his and we go in and we do it with him, get because they want you to make an appointment so you can actually have the time to try them on and see how they fit and all that. And then um, when he goes he'll tell them because he forgot to tell them last time to make the appointment so when he goes we'll make an appointment for a couple of months so um i'm heading there now to pick up my glasses but i had my appointment and while he was doing his appointment i shopped around for my new frames and my vision um my vision insurance through my work is actually really good they offered so my vision insurance offers $130 towards your frames. And then whatever the remaining balance is, you get 20% off, which was really cool. So I ended up only spending like $109 for my glasses, which I know is a little bit more pricey. And a lot of people nowadays maybe go on to like Zenni Optical and all that. And eventually I do want to dabble in the pair eyewear. I don't know if you guys have ever seen them. I learned about them through TikTok with when I used to watch uh, Lauren, the Mer Lauren the Mortician, she raved about pair eyewear. It's like you have a, you know, frames, then you can buy different magnetized things to go over the frames. And I always wanted those so I could have just a magnetized thing for your glasses, for your sunglasses, because I do like to buy prescription sunglasses. I probably, my, my prescription did change a little bit. I don't know if it's changed enough that I'll just get rid of my current prescription sunglasses and buy new ones but if it's like not a total difference I don't necessarily wear my sunglasses a ton to the point where I think it's worth spending the money to get new prescription so when I was shopping frames I was sending pictures to my family because obviously Cody I couldn't get like a good um opinion from him because he was in his appointment and we went through a lot they don't really make ones like these anymore where they're like slightly smaller I feel like these are 10 years old I literally got these in 2013 and so I feel like I don't know maybe nowadays like that style's not very very much in style but I will say these were these were Ray brand these are oh my god these are Ray brand um Ray brand these are Ray Ban brand frames and I mean these lasted me 10 years and so I definitely recommend this brand I know they're usually more pricey actually my husband picked out Ray-Ban I picked out a different brand it starts with an M I'm I don't remember I'll have to tell you when I put them on for you guys I actually picked out clear glasses which I'm excited about I went through a bunch of dark frames and I did almost pick a dark a dark frame but then I was like you know what my sister was like I really like the clear and I was like I kind of do too 
so I decided to go with it and they were cheaper anyways than the dark frames I picked out so I'm really excited it's definitely gonna be different but I'm excited to show you guys the frames the new frames and see how they look on me I also think I wonder how much better they will be on camera because I do feel like my eyes get kind of hidden but yeah I'm really excited so that's on the agenda. Um, the reason why I have two days off in a row, I, today's Monday and I have tomorrow off as well. I originally had to work tomorrow, but I have a very important meeting with Marvelous Mouse Travels because as you guys know from my mukbang video, I've applied to be a Disney travel agent and I'm in like the, I wanna say this will probably be like the final phase to find out if I make it, but Marvelous Mouse Travels is opening a sister agency and they, thought based on like my application and my responses that I'd be a good fit for the new agency so I'm really excited so we have a vir I have a virtual meeting tomorrow night at 6 so I originally was scheduled from 10 45 to 7 15 but obviously that wouldn't have worked so I asked my co-worker if she would have switched so I could have done like the morning shift tomorrow but when I told my boss she was like I'll just give you that day off and I'm like okay and I have the EBT anyway so it's definitely I definitely could use two days off anyway so today I've been pretty productive this morning I went through our spring and summer clothes took out more of the spring clothes I'll wait to take out more of the summery stuff probably in May but I was just like I've been wanting like a like a wardrobe refresh and that's honestly the best way to do it so you're not spending money because as much as I really wanted to like go to Target today um we are not broke but I got paid last week but we had so many bills we had to pay that it definitely um depleted a lot like a lot so I don't want to just go spend like a hundred bucks to like leave us with like nothing so I just decided to just go through the spring stuff and wash it and then I'll put it in the closet and then I'll have new new stuff I also took out some of the stuff from my closet and from the um, clothes that I've put away to see what I want to even just get rid of. So I got rid of a lot of clothes. So I definitely feel a lot better. And then when I go home, I'm going to switch the laundry and then the upstairs just desperately needs a vacuum, like a good vacuum. And our fan in our bedroom has a blanket of dust. So I need to take like um, a rag and kind of wipe that stuff off. So yeah, so that's exciting. And then that's all, all I'm thinking I'm gonna have myself do today. I don't wanna like be super busy today and tomorrow. Maybe if I just break up my chores a little bit, I can just, you know, have things to do on both days. Um, I do find that when I am just laying around all day, my day goes by a lot faster. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm having a lazy day, just the day flies by like that. Before I know it, I'm going to get Cody again. Um, but for some reason, if I'm a little bit more productive or even if I like leave the house, like right now I'm running an errand, I do find that the day goes by slightly slower. So yeah, so I'm rambling. So I'm gonna go get my glasses and then I'll show you guys what they look like when I get back in the car. What do we think? You guys, I love them. I, I know they're different so different but I think they're so cute and I love how there's like a little bit of detail right here it's like goldish rose gold almost I love them I like that they're a little bit bigger I feel like they brighten my face a lot so I'm so excited to have them so I'm gonna head home now I was debating if I wanted to get like a fun drink on my way home but I don't need any more coffee so I don't know what I would get I mean I guess Starbucks has like some caffeine free stuff trying to cut my caffeine because obviously like TTC um you know also like when you're in that waiting period it's like should I be having a lot of caffeine for the off chance I'm pregnant you know what I'm saying so anyways uh, I think I will skip the fun drink I think I'll just go home and I'm really excited about these they also have anti-glare which they say is supposed to help driving at night so I'm curious to see how that works um, at nighttime, if I drive at night anytime soon. Um, and they also help with blue light, which is also good. Cause like, especially on my days off, I tend to 
stare at the screen a lot because usually on my days off I don't have anything to do you know I'm playing sims or whatever so anyway so I'm gonna head home and try to tackle the rest of the laundry and get those little things done so that way I can have like the rest of the day to just kind of like chill okay so a little change of plans I ended up going to Hannaford really quickly um well so the funny story about it was I accidentally took the wrong turn because I was and I do this every time I try to go there I was like oh you know what pet goes right here let me run in there because Miles still has his cat acne and I think honestly the only thing that's gonna um have it go away is if we change his food bowls because they say when your cats have that acne um, and it's not going away they could be allergic to the ceramic pet bowls and that's what I think we have so I was gonna go and see if I can just get some stainless steel ones because they say that's the best for their cat acne is to switch to stainless steel bowls but every time I go to that Petco or try to I always take the wrong turn thinking that turn will bring me into Petco but it doesn't they need to make it so it does because it on uh, the reason why I keep going the wrong way is because it makes total sense that it would be there. So I actually ended up taking the road that takes me to a different Hannaford than the one my husband works at. But I was like, you know what? I have a couple of coupons to get some free stuff. So I'll go in and try to get it. But one of my coupons didn't come off. Because I had a coupon for 85% ground turkey. I'm wondering if I bought the wrong brand. I could have. I'll have to look. But the ground turkey I bought was only three bucks anyway. So it's not like a big deal. It's just that kind of sucked. But I still got like five bucks off my order because I had a free fruit cup and a free one of those like ready rices things that you like put in the microwave. So I got one of those. Those are good like if you want to make like fried rice and stuff. So I'm really tempted because Starbucks is literally right here. But I'm just going to go home, make myself a fun water and that'll be good. But I just wanted to go in and pick up a couple stuff. Bought myself a Reese's for my dessert after lunch today. I'm going to make a Tiffany plate for lunch today. I took out my sausages from the freezer. I got some raw vegetables. I just got that fruit cup so I can eat that with it. And it's going to be really, really good. So, Okay, so I just switched the laundry and haven't vacuumed yet. I'll go up and do it at some point today. It's not going to take long, but it just needs to happen. So I can't get over these glasses. They look so weird in this lighting almost. Um, but I figured I'll just show you the quick stuff I got from Hannaford. I got a coupon for um, cat food. So I should save that because I'm sure we'll need some soon. This was the ground turkey that I thought I had a coupon for. I bought the wrong brand. I am they Their coupon was just for Hannaford brand. This is Nature's Promise, which usually is like their like organic brand. I didn't think it mattered. Um, but it does apparently. So this I did get for free. The Carolina Ready Rice. This is just jasmine rice. I figured that'd be good one night if I want to make like fried rice or something. Then I got a free fruit cup. So I'm going to have that with my lunch today. I have avocados. And um, when I made my toast this morning, I realized I didn't have any like citrus to put in it. I usually like to squeeze citrus in it. So I got a lemon and a lime just so I could compare. And this Reese's is for my little afternoon treat later. I'm doing patty melts for dinner tonight, so Cody want curly fries. I gotta text him, make sure he knows not to pick some up. And I got some pickles for the patty melts and also for my snack plate. And I think that's everything I got. And then I have this return order I gotta uh, finish packing up and putting the label on. Um, that like shirt you just saw me wearing, I'm returning it. It's from Yiddy um, Fabletics. I keep trying Fabletics and they're just not working out for me. Every time I buy leggings, they either roll down or they're way too tight and I have to size up. So, and I keep trying to cancel, but then they like convince me to stay and offer me credits and they're like annoying. So I'm like, whatever, I'll just skip every month. But it's just, yeah, I, I don't recommend. I really thought Yiddy would be better since like Liz, it's Lizzo's brand, which I didn't, I, are we supposed to, are we liking Lizzo? I thought she was canceled. I have no idea, but. I thought like for sure it'd be better for plus size, but um, it's just not working out. So I'm gonna return this and I'm probably just, I gotta talk to someone, just be more blunt and just say, please just cancel my account. Cause 
yeah, but I'm going to wait at least until I get the credit for this and make sure they're going to refund it to my credit card, not give me Fabletics credit. Um, but yeah, like everything I've bought from there, I can count on like one hand, like what has I've actually liked and it's just not much. So yeah, so I'm going to put all this away, finish this, um, return order. I'm going to schedule a pickup for tomorrow for, through my, um, post office. And then I think I'm just going to sit on the couch. I'm not too, totally hungry yet, but I think I'll make a water. All right. So I got some warm water in there and this is a combo I had recently and it's so good. So I'm going to start with this pear liquid IV. I'm going to put it in here where the water's warm because it dissolves a lot quicker. So I'm just going to dump it in here. And then I just use the Stanley straw as my little drink mixer. Okay, then I'm gonna put as much ice in this as possible. Which by the way, I got a new ice maker because mine kind of shit the bed. So this one is from Best Buy. It was, it's an Insignia brand. It was only $89. I can have it linked down below if you guys are interested. It is a lot smaller than my old one, um, but I kind of like it. And it's a lot quieter, I think, so. Yeah, I, I like it. I wanted to splurge and get a, um, the one, the ones that make like the Chick-fil-A ice, but they were just like way out of my price range of what I wanted to spend. So I went with this one. All right, put ice and I put more water and I'm going to do a splash like, like that much. And this is Jordan Skinny Syrup Unicorn flavor. I'm out of my cotton candy, so I've been trying to use up my other two. I have Unicorn and Mermaid. There's a three pack of those flavors on, excuse me, excuse me. Anyways, there's a three pack on Amazon that comes with the Unicorn, Mermaid, and Cotton Candy. I can have it linked down below. I bought these from like a seller. Like I guess there's people that actually sell these. You can also find these at your local liquor store. Um, so if you have like a, you know, ours is called like something beverage or something. I don't even know. But anyways, I'll have the three pack link down below. Then I just stir it. And there's something about the combo of the pear and the unicorn. I'm not even sure what this is supposed to be for a flavor. Sweet and sour blue raspberry frosting unicorn flavor to your beverages. I would say that mixture of the two, it makes me think of blue freeze pops um, or otter pops. I don't know what you guys call them. We always called them freeze pops, but yeah, it's really good. So I'm going to put the lid on, go watch some. I'm catching up on, I'm catching up on Alexandra Rodriguez on YouTube. Um, she just announced she's pregnant which I'm so excited because she's been trying for a long time and had a miscarriage last year. So I'm just like over the moon for her. And I'm also hoping it's a sign that I'm going to get pregnant soon because um, her and I honestly, like, I know this is weird, but she talks about like getting her period and stuff. And she had gotten her period on her birthday, which is Christmas Eve. And I also got my period on Christmas Eve. And I'm like, oh my God, the fact that we could have similar cycles and get pregnant around the same time just hoping it's a sign but I'm so happy but I'm so behind on her videos so I'm trying to force myself to watch like from when I left off up until because she just posted her first trimester vlog so I'm like catching up and then I'm gonna watch the trimester vlog because I just know I'm gonna cry um so yeah I'm catching up and then I might go for a walk on my little walking pad in a little bit okay I'm assembling my Tiffany plate you can kind of see what's going on here but I'm going to make my honey mustard dip. And every time I make it, I think, oh, I'm just going to show them next time. So I'm going to do it now. I just need to grab some honey. Okay, so it's really simple. It's just uh, mayonnaise, mustard, honey. Um, you can use any uh, mustard you want. I just have French's yellow. So basically, I eyeball this. I used to, like, weigh it on my scale. But I found when I did that, I made way too much. So basically, I just take a spoonful of mayonnaise. And it's a brand new bottle. I put a squeeze of mustard. Just like that. And a squeeze of honey. Boom. That's it. Then you're going to want to stir this. 
And you're gonna wanna taste it, see if it needs more mustard, see if it needs more honey. Um, why, what does the mayonnaise do? I'm not really sure, Tiffany, um, who, you know, the Tiffany plate, she always puts mayonnaise in it, so I always did. And I think it's just because it gives it creaminess, it adds a little bit more flavor. It looks really good. And so now I'll dip my veggies and my sausage in this. So there you go. All right, here's the final Tiffany plates. So I got celery, cucumber, baby carrots, cheddar cheese. My sausage, this is a Applegate, not Applegate, Alfresco, I think the brand is. Roasted garlic one. I got a pickle, got some banana peppers, got my fruit cup, got my dip. I think we're good. Okay, I'm caught up to the point where now is time to watch her pregnancy announcement video. And it's 41 minutes, so I figured that's a good video to watch while I do my treadmill. And I think I got this after I announced my break, so. But this is the little treadmill I have. It is a Deer Run brand. It's pink. I love it. Um, I will link it down below. I got it from Amazon. You can also get it from their website. They have really good customer service, as you can see from that box. I received it and then it didn't work, so they sent me a new one. I just had to return that, but as you can see, it's huge and it's really heavy. So I got to figure out how the hell to get this out of my apartment so they can come get it. Um, but yeah, so we, I'm very excited about it. I have walked on it. I say I get on it about two times a week. Obviously I wish I could do it a little bit more, but sometimes I get home and it's just, I can't bring myself to do it. But since I have today and tomorrow off, there's really no excuse to. So I'm going to put on the video and walk as much as I'd love to go take a nap right now. I just think walking while I watch this might help my energy a little bit and then I might make a coffee afterwards as like a treat myself kind of thing. Okay, I watched the video. I mm -hmm. did cry as I thought. Um, I just need some ice, hold on. I just feel like it was such a good video. She like made me cry in the beginning because she was saying like how, oh my God, I'm gonna start crying. Um. She was saying how, like, she has, you know, been there in the TTC where, like, when you see pregnancy announcements and you're, like, not, you get, like, that tinge in your stomach. And, like, not to obviously be, like, mean, but I did get that tinge when I saw hers because I'm, like, oh, crap, like, another one and I'm still not. And um, she just, like, said, like, you know, if you're in that part of your TTC, you just know, like, I've been there, and, um, she was really nice, like, she even said to her followers, like, if it's too hard for you, and you, like, have to not watch me while I'm pregnant, like, you have to do what's best for you, and to protect your peace, um, I'm not gonna stop watching her, because she's pregnant, I'm actually, if anything for me, um, because right now I'm in, like, that limbo, oh, shit, hold on, Right now I'm in that limbo where, um, you know, you conceived, well, you can't, you tried to conceive, obviously, you had the unprotected sex, and now you're in the waiting game because you obviously can't test until you're, like, about to have your period. Um, they say, like, the day after when your period's supposed to start is the best time to do it. She tested four days before her period was supposed to come. So I don't know if maybe I should. Um, I might. I do have like a bunch of pregnancy tests um, in my bathroom. Because I bought like obviously like ovulation tests and stuff. Um, but yeah, when you're in that like limbo stage where it's like you have to wait like two weeks to test it's like so hard because every day I'm like thinking trying to think like do I feel any different do I feel like this could be it and it is it is really difficult so yeah but anyways I just wanted to say that I watched the video I cried I don't know if you guys watch Alexandra Rodriguez she used to be learning to be fearless I love her I love the way she made her channel now it's just like a vlog channel just like mine so if you like my content, I think you'd like hers. Um, yeah, I'm just so happy for her. And 
yeah, but I just made a coffee. I used Stoke cold brew and I used the Mean Girls creamer. I didn't even talk about it. Um, this is a pink frosting flavor. It's really good. My cat's trying to get in the friggin' fridge. Hi, honey. And yeah. It's 2.30 now. I debated going up to taking a nap after I do my walk. I did like a full 40 something minutes, um, which is really good. That was like, that's as most as I've walked so far. So it definitely helps for me to put on like a show, a video, whatever. And I usually start small. Um, doing the one speed is too, too slow for me. It just start at like 1.3. And then what I do is every time the video or the show goes to a commercial, I bump up the speed a couple notches. I think I went up to just two, two, the two speed just flat. And I did that for quite a while. And then as I was getting closer to the end of the video, I slowed it back down to kind of like give myself a cool down almost. Um, so now I'm going to have my coffee. I didn't eat the snack cup earlier. I just got too full. I don't like the roasted garlic sausages, at least the way I cooked them in the air fryer. I couldn't even bite them. They're very rubbery. Um, the flavor was like, okay. I'm going to try to just cut them up and cook them with eggs tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know whether I should just toss them or not. I just, I wasn't a fan. It makes, I hate throwing away food though. So I'm like, can I somehow use this for something else? I don't know, but I'm going to go sit a little bit more and my coffee and my fruit. Um, I'm all caught up on her videos now. Honestly, I haven't been watching a lot of YouTube except for just Good Mythical Morning and Mythical Kitchen. I've been obsessed with them for the past month or so. I've only been watching their videos. Um, I also might read, I'm almost done with my book. I'm reading um, Actor Age Eve Brown. It's like a three part series. Not really like a series, but there's a book about each sister um, and I think this is technically like the third one and I'm starting with this one, but either way, I'm almost done. I think if I really put myself to it, I could finish it before I have to go get Cody. So I might just sit in the silence in my fruit cup and just read. Okay. It is 4.05. I'm going to go get Cody. Um, I'm actually going to go a little bit early, but... Sorry, I need some like air in here. It's pretty stuffy. Um, I'm gonna go get him a little early, but I figured it was close enough. I just, I ended up taking like a 20 minute nap, just a little cat nap. And I was like, well, I'll just go now because I'll, what I'll do is I'll put on the toast on my phone and watch it while I wait for him. Um, and we're gonna make, I'm gonna make patty melts tonight. I'm really excited. Um, I'm going to even try to make like a burger sauce for them. Um, yeah, I'm really craving like takeout, but we had Subway last night, did, got it through DoorDash and it ended up being way too much money. I mean, there is a reason why we have very, exp very, what's the word? We've cut down how much we order through DoorDash. We do it so rarely now. It used to be like a weekly thing and now like I wanna say we try to only do it like once a month. Um, basically we're just trying to practice like if it's cheaper to go in store and not be lazy to get it, then we do. So like anytime now that we want McDonald's, we'll actually drive and get McDonald's um, because there is like a $30 difference. It's crazy, but I could literally, have the same order on our McDonald's app and on the DoorDash app and there will be like a 20 to $30 difference because one they upcharge on DoorDash there's definitely like the items are definitely more expensive and then also you have to factor in delivery fee if you don't have Dash Pash which I do not I canceled it because that also didn't help our ordering out and like you have to tip the driver and obviously yeah like you're paying that much to um not have to go get it like so there is like you know you're paying that much for the convenience but sometimes it's just not worth it however last night um when we looked at the price comparison we actually were only say we actually would have only saved like ten dollars um it sucks because we actually wanted to go to buffalo wild wings tomorrow night so i should have just like stuck to my guns but it was it's hard especially when you cook for a living um 
you know, having an idea. I'm someone like I'll have some, I'll have an idea for something, and then if it's not like right to do it last night, the reason why we didn't do it last night is because we only had like a handful of French fries in the freezer left, and it's like okay, I don't have really anything else to offer with this meal. We wanted to go to Buffalo Wild Wings tomorrow night. Cause tomorrow is Tuesday, and it's buy one get one free wing night, but we're gonna have to just skip it. Um, which is good because I actually have pizza crust in the fridge that I had got so I can make homemade pizza and I haven't yet and tonight I'm doing patty melts so tomorrow I definitely need to do the pizza so we don't let the pizza crust go to waste. But yeah, so I thought I'd hop on. I guess I'm filming enough that today's footage will just be one vlog. I am giving the toast a chance but I'm making patty melts so I have a little bit of onion for myself what I do when I get onions in like every plate or HelloFresh boxes is I'll slice them up and then freeze them and then I can just pull a few from a freezer and fry them up they fry just as well I can't even notice they were a frozen onion and then I have three burger patties in here I'm actually going to crumble them up the brewery we like to go to near us they have a patty melt and that's what I'm trying to recreate and that has crumbled beef not like beef patties so that's what i'm trying to do oh my god you guys i threw out that roasted garlic sausage and my trash smells so bad and it's a brand new bag and i'm like oh my god i need to find so many things to throw away so we can get rid of this bag of trash so it's horrible you guys i totally forgot to like end the vlog last night so it's um tuesday march 19th tonight is my very exciting meeting at six so I'm a little bit nervous and I don't know. I feel like it'll go okay. I do. I did tell my husband because we were planning on going to B-dubs tonight when he got out of work, but he gets out at 4.30 and I the meeting's at six and I'm like, I just don't want to risk it and end up not having, like, cause I want to be at my computer before six, preferably. So, um, yeah, so I'm really excited. I hope it goes okay. I just really want, like this is like a dream if I were to get this so but yeah so I just went to TJ Maxx I dropped off Cody and went there um I was trying to find some spring decor but they don't really have a lot they have a lot of Easter stuff but not like spring stuff so I guess I'll have to go back when like Easter's over to see um but I did get a couple of things so I figured I'll show you guys and then end the vlog once I get home um I'm just I'm really nervous I feel like just I know I know that it will be fine because it's a meeting I'm probably just gonna be hearing a lot it's not really like I don't know if I'll have to participate but I also want to be ready to participate if I need to I don't even think I showed you guys what ended up what my patty melts ended up looking like they were so good I cannot express how good they were so I'm gonna type out in the description box how I made them and like what I used you can use regular ground beef if you had to I just for me it was a lot easier to just throw a couple of uh burger patties that I already had frozen into a pan I will say we ended up not using all that meat that I cooked so I ended up freezing the rest so that way if we wanted to make it again we can and I saved the rest of the burger sauce in one of my like airtight containers so hopefully it will stay good I swear they tasted so similar to the brewery that we go to. So they're really good. I'll leave a picture like right here. But yeah, I ended up, I felt like when I woke up this morning, I was like, I didn't even update the vlog or tell them how food went. So yeah, so today I'm gonna have like a lazy day to kind of prepare myself for this meeting. Um, I wanna take like an everything shower. I wanna put on a little bit of makeup for the meeting because they do want me to have my camera on, which is totally fine. Um, and yeah, so I'm really excited, and once I get home, oh my god, sorry if I just made you all yawn. Once I get home, I will um, show you guys what I got from TJ Maxx. Okay, I'll show you what I got. So, I got this uh, Starbucks cold brew concentrate. It was only $7.99, so that I thought that was a pretty good deal. I got this sugar-free vanilla syrup. It was on clearance for only $3.50. Um, I keep buying these and I bring them to work and I, I let anybody use them, but that way I'm not bringing coffee cream and having people steal it because there's nothing 
like more annoying but these are a little bit different so i figured i'll bring this i just write like staff only in the date i open it and then we keep it by our like staff's coffee bar and then i have a little bit of flavoring in my coffee there because the coffee there is not good at all then this was exciting i got this giant bottle of grenadine i thought that was exciting it was only 7.49 I love making Shirley Temples and Roy Rogers, so that was just, that was really exciting. So I think tonight, when I pick up Cody, I'm going to run in and get some more sourdough bread, and I think I'm going to get some, like, Sprite or something. So I think that. And then I told you guys yesterday, sorry, that I was looking for pet bowls that are stainless steel, because Miles has the cat acne, and they had two of these. On clearance for seven dollars so i got two of them and just not going to take them both out but they're stainless steel they have like this grippy thing so they stay on the floor um i hope my cats like them and don't knock them over all the time but very exciting sorry that was loud okay so that is everything for this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm really actually so excited to be back like as i'm filming i still have like two weeks until i'm actually uploading again but I'm like so itching to upload like I thought about just like taking back my break and just starting to upload now but I just know I'll feel a lot better if I just wait till April so anyways I hope you enjoyed this and if you like vlogs on my channel please don't forget to give this a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already just go ahead and click that little red thing and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.